here you're going to need a wooden ruler of some sort, preferably a short one. Uh, you're going to need two pennies of the same year, and I'll tell you why in a moment, and a bottle cap or something to hold what you're weighing, and a pencil. Now, the reason you're going to need two pennies of the same year, I have two 2002 pennies here, and I googled up online how much a penny weighs, and I got the weight of a 2002 penny. So I know that they weigh the exact same thing, which is 2.3 grams, and that's how you're going to get your weights. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to place the ruler on top of the pencil uh, directly in the center of the ruler so that one side and the other side are both basically teeter-tottering and balanced. And then just tape the pencil to the bottom so it stays in place. Here's a little tip, because I noticed something. I put the pencil directly under the center of the ruler and it just wasn't quite balanced, so I had to move it over a little bit just to get it to that balance point. So now what you're going to do is you're going to place one penny at the very end, the very tip of the ruler, and then you're going to go on over to the other end of the ruler and put the bottle cap with the penny in it. And then you can slide it down the ruler until you find the point of balance where it's balancing and teeter-tottering. And that's the point where you know there's the exact same weight as the penny, which is 2.35 grams in this case. So now you're going to add whatever it is that you're measuring the weight of to the bottle cap. In this case, I'm measuring the weight of ingredients and sugar. So slowly add it to the bottle cap until the ruler tips. The second the ruler tips, there we go, you know you have exactly 2.35 grams.